partial line. <laughs> oh, right, sorry. <laughs> what happened to the intro? <laughs> Done. <laughs> Took a bite of breath. Absolutely. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. So, Maria has set up a new setup tonight, okay, where we just go live on time. So, we were surprised. I was waiting for the intro. I just said to Sam, we can't speak now. And Laura goes, off you go. <laughs> So, hello everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Tonight I've got the fabulous Sam Copeland in the kitchen. Now, I've been chasing this lady. Oh, wait a minute, what's going on? Are we live or are we not live? We're live. We're live. <laughs> okay, I've been chasing this lady 18 months, is it, Sam? Possibly two years? We get known for two years. Yes, okay. Sam is actually a teacher at the Reese University College. Reese Heath College. Reese Heath, I never get it right. <laughs> Reese Heath, is it a university college? We are a university college. Yeah, for food tech. And um, so I've met Sam at plenty of cake shows. She's always just sat there fiddling around with sugar paste and muddling around and she just starts knocking up all these little figures and things like that. So I said, Sam, you must come and do that on our live. And she's going, yes, I will. Yes, I will. Keep seeing her at shows. Yes, I will. Not forgot you. Yes, I will. So when she surprised me the other week and said, I'm coming, I went, I don't believe you. So anyhow, she's here. here. I am here. I am. <laughs> she's not sat down, by the way. She's shorter than me. <laughs> she is super tall. <laughs> she's asked me, can she have a seat? I said, we won't see you. We're going to see how it goes. <laughs> so a couple of things tonight. We're going to let Sam get on. So I do want to make sure that you give her lots of thumbs up. Let her know that you're here. Let us know where in the world you are. Um, as per usual, when our guests come into the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, it's always nerve-wracking when they start. They don't really know what's going to happen to them because we don't know either. We just like to have banter and a laugh. But she does follow us closely on Facebook. We have been friends and communicating for a while, haven't we? we? Have. So I am pleased that she's here. So when I did speak to Sam, I said, what are you thinking of making? She said an Easter themed cake. So that's why you saw an Easter themed cake. That's what Maria put up. So then Maria messages me today. I won't tell you what language it was, but she said we're making models. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're doing making spring Easter <laughs> model things. Yes. <laughs> so we're not making an Easter theme cake. So um, so well, anyhow, we are. We are. are. Is that what yes, we're going to do? Because we're going to do a little bit of everything, and we're going to start with what I teach my students in the beginning. Now you found the cream eggs. The one good thing is we're using cream eggs. <laughs> I've tasted them for quality tasting, make sure they taste good. Yeah, there'll be Did one you model one, left, definitely. Yes, yes, Maria's tasted one for quality testing as well. I think Laura declined, did you, Laura? Yeah, and but I have got this instead. <laughs> I didn't, but, but I didn't then, try. Sam has brought a large Easter egg with these inside, so me and Laura got one of those. <laughs> so, we're gonna use lots of goodies today. So I just want to tell you about a few things that have arrived in new arrivals. I will pop them in the wish list while I'm watching. So um, we, we stock the um, Marvellous Moles Moles. Um, we do quite a few of them, but these are absolutely lovely. So I've just been playing with these. This one here, we've just been playing, haven't we, yeah. Sam? So this one here is called Pretty and Pearls. So we've got that, Laura? Yep. Down a little bit. That's it, perfect. So it's called Pretty and Pearls. I've actually never used any of these moulds before, but I was pleasantly surprised that I put the sugar paste in and it just flopped out. It did. Fantastic. It, did. it, it was, was brilliant. Yeah. So let's just show you what we've done here. So I've just put a brown piece in. So I've just put a brown piece in there. I don't know, can you see it well enough, Laura? Yeah. And then I've put some lilac luster dust on. Yeah. Can you see that? Lovely. That's quite nice, yeah. isn't it? It's quite, quite sparkly. effective. Yeah, mm -hmm. sparkly. And then there's, a, there's another one here. This one is called, this one is called Lavish Loops. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And you can't really see, I don't know which would be the right way. Let me just have a look. Do you, what do you think? Oh yes, the yeah. little prongs upwards. Yeah. Yeah, little prongs upwards. Yeah. You get that? They're lovely and soft, they really are so nice. So I've done this one. Can you see that? Yeah, that's lovely. Isn't that lovely there? And I've just dusted it with this lilac stardust colour. And then I haven't played with this one, but you know, I don't know if many of you know how to do this design with buttercream. Yeah. yeah, but you can do it with buttercream, but look at this, he's actually produced a mould. Make life so much easier. 
That was absolutely lovely. So I haven't played with that one, but I thought I would tell you about those. Then FMM have brought out a new cutter, okay, and it's called Cool Dudes. So they've been on the website about a week now, but I haven't told you about them. So in there, Cool Dudes, so you're going to get in there a skateboard, um, what do they call them? Scooter. Scooter, well done. Baseball cap, baseball boots, and is that like a Game Boy station? Yeah. Control yeah. pad. <laughs> Pardon? Control pad. Control pad, that's it. So you can tell I don't <laughs> play games, can't you? And then, da, 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 da. what do we think that is? Wow. That is your large mix and match base. So all of you who've been making them for cupcakes can now make them for a bigger cake and they've added the unicorn. So there we go. On the website. Absolutely fabulous, you're all going to go mad for that. Really, very, very nice. So they're all new, that's on the website at the moment. Sorry, Sam. That's all right. <laughs> I quite like that. Yeah, it's good yeah. fun, isn't it? Yeah, we get to some of those, I think. Absolutely. So, what else do we have to tell I've got them? This one. Ah, so this one here. So, we are the um, stockist for the Global Sugar Artist Pens. Yeah. Where am I? Here, yeah. they're funny these two, aren't they funny Sam? People don't know what we go through. Eh? Here we are, up, down, round, left, right, okay? So Sugar Artists have decided that they've sent me a couple of sets as giveaways. So in this set you get a nice little case, then it's the brush, the double zero. These are beautiful. Now I don't know whether you can see how fine that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see how fine yeah. that is? That is perfect. Beautiful. You don't have a go? Oh, I am, yeah. Yeah? Okay, I might let you have a go in a minute. Mm -hmm. You're a good girl. So there's that one, that's the double zero. And this one here is the zero one. Don't know if you can see that on there. Yeah, perfect. Can you see? Yeah. These are beautiful for doing really fine detail. Eyelashes, those tiny little crevice lines. What else would you use it for? Anything that's tiny. Oh, anything tiny. tiny. Yeah. Little so pupils on your eyes. Yeah. Beautiful. I can see Sam here getting really excited about it. So we're going to do this as a giveaway. I'm not sure what it is, but tomorrow I'll get John to do a post on the, on the group and on the page of how you can win this set. Mm, nice. Yeah? So we'll do that. So do you like them, everybody? Liking them more? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so that's it. So we'll do that giveaway. I haven't really thought of the competition, but I will get John to get his thinking cap on and we'll do that for a competition tomorrow. And that comes in its own little leather up case. Lovely. Super. Yeah. yeah? All yeah, right, then. So what else have we got to do? Well, <laughs> there are. Laura's waving at us. <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> just saying some hello. So Laura, mm -hmm. I'm going to get Laura to do what she does best. And that is to do a little welcome. We've got Maria in the kitchen, as per usual, in a jumper, but so she should wear one because it's freaking <laughs> freezing. It's <laughs> cold out there. Freezing. So come on, Laura, do the best bits. <clears throat> We've actually got a massive audience tonight, so we're over 260 views oh, already. No let us know if any of them, <laughs> let us know if any of them are Sam Copeland students or yes. Come Yeah, on, you guys. need to shout out. We've got people watching from New York on holiday. People, new, a lot of new people introducing themselves this evening, which is great. So if you are new to Sugar and Crumbs Facebook Live, say hello, say where you're from, how you found us. Um, loads of familiar names as well, of course. We've got Wendy Brearley, we've got Valerie Swarbrick. Lindsay McIver, of course, um, Nancy Craig, Sandra Wilkinson, Wendy Ann Preston. Um, so lots of familiar names. Um, as we always say, if you've got a question that's relevant tonight, to tonight's Facebook Live, pop it on. But the feed does move very quickly. So if we do miss anything, we'll try and get around to you either after the live or tomorrow. Um, so pop your question in there. Um, if you can't join us for the whole Facebook Live, you can watch the whole thing back when we've finished. So it will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page and it will also get transferred over to YouTube as well, normally by a Wednesday. Um, you'll see Maria hovering around the kitchen um, and she creates these brilliant one minute videos as well. So they'll go all um, over to YouTube. We have got a few shout outs from Reese Heath. Hey, good so we've got, so good we've got Nick Blakemore, Hi, Nick. head That's of my food, boss. Sam's boss. <laughs> <laughs> the boss is making sure she's working. <laughs> 
We've got Not people from <laughs> we've got people from Toronto, California, Scotland, Lancaster, everywhere tonight. So we've got a massive oh, global fantastic. audience. <laughs> <laughs> so fantastic. So, so I'm going to let Sam tell you a little bit about herself, how she ended up working at the college, what her skills are, what her um, credentials are, how you can follow her, <laughs> why you should go to Reese's College. And I hope you enjoyed tonight. We're going to make some little Easter models and a few other things as well. Basically, Sam has got the kitchen to herself. She can do what she like. So I'm going to leave you to it. Thank you very much. And if you see her disappear, it's because she's picked a chair and decided to sit down. <laughs> so when you see the hands just above the counter, like that, it'll be Sam. So thank you, Laura, for doing that. You would think that Laura had a piece of paper, wouldn't you, and read that on a script, but she doesn't. She's very clever and does it all by herself. So, Maria, are you ready to crack on? Yes. Good. I'll I'm catch up with you all later. <laughs> Let me know where you want me, Laura. Okay. Where you are is perfect. Is it? And are you going to pick me up from there? I will. So wherever you're working, I will You're going to follow me. Don't you oh worry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you're on every camera tonight. <laughs> every camera. <laughs> like I say, no pressure. Yeah. No. <laughs> A big shout out, first of all, to all my Reese Heath students. That's level 2A and B and level 3. And actually, if there's any food students watching as well, because otherwise I'd be in trouble for not saying hello. <laughs> I'm not going to name them all because we've got about, well, getting on for 100 students, so I'm not going to name them all. So that'd be great take, if they were all watching. Two, that'd be great, wouldn't it? If they all like it, that'd be even better. So Absolutely. what I thought I'd do, guys, is start off with what we do with our first year students, which is to... <laughs> Are you going to be over my Aww. shoulder like that? <laughs> yes. oh, yes. oh, no pressure. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, okay. <laughs> you will get the use. So somewhere we put some tiners, which we've we've got here. So we're going to start off just with some sugar paste, um, and I start off with putting a little bit of sugar paste in all my models, uh, a little bit of tilo, sorry, in all my models, and we're going to start off with a journey bear. Now, when my students come to me and I say we're going to make a journey bear, they don't really understand what that means. And all it means is that it's the start of their cake decorating journey. Um, so we do that in level two and all the students will make a bear to take home to their parents and carers. And it's something that they've got to keep. At the end of their course in June, so they start in September, at the end of the course Can in I June. Can I just stop you one second? Would it be okay if we could do the camera on that side or yeah. do you need a there? Just so you're not. Sorry, Maria. Nice, that's <laughs> all. That yeah. Can you see it better that, that way? All right. Oh, there we go. Can we get in? It's, it's just that all yeah. oh, we can see on the camera is Sam. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's only little. Look in your face. Okay, can I be like that? Yes. <laughs> you're going to get up close and personal. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you're going to get no Maria very, very well. <laughs> so, yeah, hmm. so in, they start off in September with us and then. Towards the end of the course, they'll make another bear. So they start with a journey bear, and then they have a progress bear. And that shows the progression that they've made throughout their, their course. So the first thing we want to do is just idea. get a little bit of icing. It doesn't matter what size you want, you know, whatever size bear you want to make. And we always start all our models with a ball of icing. So open those fingers up like this, so you get a nice, smooth ball. We've not started after nine yet. We don't talk a ball, so. Oh, now we've got children watching Carol tonight. <laughs> so we'll behave ourselves tonight. Right to the rolling pin saga last week. I don't oh. know where we could go. <laughs> that was just embarrassing. <laughs> so terrible. Then I put my hands in a, a sort of a V shape, if you can see. And we're going to go up to a cone. Now, if you can't do it that way, I get my students to hold it in their hands and roll it into a, a cone that way. It's preference, it depends which way you want to do it. So I go that way, like that. Like that? Yep. Yes. Then I use pinchy fingers. And now don't forget, I teach students all day, they're 16 years old. So uh, we make it nice and simple to start with. Using pinchy fingers, I'm just going to make two little marks at the front there. Can you see? So most of my students will say, oh, it looks like a nose. Can you at this that point? round to face this camera just so we can see those marks in it? Yeah, just I for can now. Do my best. That's just you have for to now. Show that's everything. All. Yeah, you have to show everything to Maria and everything to us. Oh, <laughs> that's not, greedy, that's time. greedy over there. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to roll a little bit more icing, tiny bit of tylos this time, into my mixture. And we're going to roll a long sausage. So everything I teach at Reese Heath, we try to embed maths and English as we go along. 
particularly in cake decorating, we use a lot of hand shapes. So this time, start with a ball of icing, opening your fingers up wide like that to make a nice smooth, smooth ball. It also will keep your icing really, really cool. A lot of students will get it in the hand and keep it nice and hot, yeah. <laughs> and then all they are is nice and sticky. sticky. <laughs> so we are going to open up. That's where I go this. wrong. <laughs> um, I've got one of Carol's fabulous little cornflower pouches here. So I'm just going to use a little bit of cornflour. You can use some of this. Can I just reach over? Right. Uh, petal base is really good as well. Um, but at college particularly, we use cornflour to get the students used to using different mediums to work with. So, ball of icing, roll it into a, cur uh, a cylinder. Now, some people can't roll on a board. It sounds really daft, but some people make it flat. Mm. I don't know if you've noticed that. <clears throat> so, start it off in your hand, first of all, to get that roll. Okay? Now, we, want it, we don't want massive long legs on it. And again, if you just take your time, nice and even, all the way along, you'll get a nice smooth roll, like that. Like I said, it's perfect. I don't think I've ever got mine like that. Mine normally has finger marks in it. This is where it gets trouble now. <laughs> now, I cut on an angle. And the reason I cut on an angle is so that I'm giving it a joint. <clears throat> okay, and we want to make sure they're the same length, there or thereabouts. Okay, like that. We're then going to lift each one up and we're just going to soften that edge like this. And we need a little bit of glue. We've got some brilliant edible glue. And we're going to just paint, okay, each one of those marks that we've made. And then we're going to put our joint. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. Perfect. That looks great, that doesn't it? And then <laughs> this one this way and these are great for making with kids you know if you want to do birthday yeah. cakes or whatever. i don't think i've ever done anything as neat as that have you so no. again pinchy fingers and all we're doing is fingers at the end thumbs in the middle and just pulling some oh, feet look at that. <laughs> so at this point now he could have his legs crossed Aww. you can make your bear however you want and that's what i say to my students it's your bear you make it how you want to make it. So I think he looks quite cute <laughs> with his little feet crossed like that. Now we need some arms. So we start at the bottom and we work up. We can even get... We've got people from everywhere tonight. Yeah. I don't know where they're coming in from. Yeah. Where are they coming hey. in from? All over the world. Oh my days. Hello everybody. Thank you for joining us. Let me just tell you how it runs here in the kitchen. What goes on in the kitchen stays in the <laughs> sugar and crumbs kitchen. So if you see that I haven't got a uniform on, I've not got my hair tied up and I've also got false nails on, do not worry. Everything that we're making in the kitchen is not going out to the general public to be eaten. It's just here to show you a live demo. Usually things are scoffed by Maria and myself. <laughs> Laura is always a very good girl, never eats anything. <laughs> Occasionally we take it into the warehouse. The warehouse lads really like to receive things, but nothing is for public consumption. Everything is just for demo purposes only. Somebody has asked what paste we're using tonight. We are using Saracino. The brown we're actually using is because I forgot to bring some brown home of Saracino, so we're using Renshaw Teddy Brown modelling paste. Oh, teddy Bear Brown. Can you just recap what you've done there for us? I Martha? can, sorry. So all I've done is make a <clears throat> cylinder, the same as I did with his legs, but a little bit thinner. And then I've just put a little groove at each end, and that will give you his paws. So it's great to make it all in one go, mm -hmm. and you don't have odd arms yeah. or no. odd shaped legs. Yeah, it's brilliant. So then again, we cut on an angle. Now what you've got to remember here is that that's going to come round that way. So you need to cut it on an angle like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that you've got two. Oh, they're not bad, are they? No. <laughs> Very good. So measure once. <laughs> measure what twice and cut <laughs> once. Yeah. That's what my dad always saw. My mum tells my dad, but he doesn't always listen. Yeah. So now we're just making a paw. So if you wanted to, you know, you could perhaps put a little, little thumb. Depends on how you're going to feel about it. You've just got to make it into your bear. This is what I tell my students. It's your bear, you make it your way. Now I have a rule and it's thumbs up. 
So when I'm looking at my bear now, I've got one thumb come this way. So I need to remember that this thumb has to be up that way. So it's going to be that side. Have okay. you got a son called Mark? I've got a husband called Mark. Oh. <laughs> He's just shouted out, hello, mum. <laughs> Yeah, he's that kind of chap, really. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Is Elizabeth with him? Elizabeth will be sat with him, probably. I've not seen her pop up yet. Ah, uh, that's our girl. I'm making this back to front, you know. I don't know what on earth you're doing. You're doing very well. And that's the other thing that people need to know. It's very hard when you, like, it's so different now because you have to show the camera. Yeah. You're conscious of the fact that Maria is zooming so in on you. We, we need to zoom in yeah. on you. <laughs> So you've just put a little belly button Even in there. a little Aww. belly button. So now I don't tend to put things like cocktail sticks in my teddy bears because very often they're for children's birthday cakes. Mm -hmm. So what I would tend to do is to, at this point now, make a little dent in the top with your balling tool. Mm -hmm. And then I paint the top like that with my edible glue. And that's going to start to go a little bit sticky whilst I make his head. Fantastic. So I've got a little bit of Tylos left in that one. So I'm going to mix the two together. Yep, Elizabeth is here as well. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth is the reason that I went to Lee's Heath College myself. I'll tell you a little bit about myself while I'm doing this. Um, I have three children and Elizabeth is my youngest. My eldest is Laura. She's 30. She's a maths teacher. She's <laughs> David, apparently we don't talk about, but we do really, <laughs> he's lovely. Um, David is my son, he's 27, and I'm not quite sure what he does for a job, to be quite honest, because <laughs> he went off to do performing arts and then got a job in insurance, I right. think. So, you know. um, now, so, making a ball again, open your fingers up, and this time we're just going to make it into a slight oval. So again, when I'm teaching students, we're there. looking oh, at okay. our <laughs> uh, shapes. So we're just going to bob his head on. Does that look about right, guys? Yeah. You can see yeah. better than me. Yeah, it's looking good. Looking good. Um, so when Elizabeth came along, this was 13 years younger than David. Um, and we found out that at 18 weeks that I was going to have a baby with a disability and Carol's met Elizabeth mm, she's, she's lovely super super girl and Elizabeth uh, was born full term absolutely fine but at this point I was a catering manager and I gave up my job mm. um, as a catering manager to be a full-time mum to Elizabeth which is something I've not done before being a full-time mum I've always done cake decorating as a hobby and uh, I found myself with time on my hands and when she was three and a half I went off to university at Rees Heath and uh, four years later Nick who's watching offered me a job and I don't know whether he thinks that's a good thing or a bad thing <laughs> but I'm hoping he thinks it's a good thing. Now I'm just going to turn this round to you, is that okay like that? Perfect. And I'm just going to paint a little bit of glue. Now I've got my hand just behind his head and go really gentle with this because if you press it too hard, his head will drop off. Can you just turn it round so the audience can see you what you've it? just done? All I've done is painted a little bit of yep. glue. Can you Super. see that? Yeah. Yep. And now I'm going to use this little bit of brown icing, which is uh, in an oval shape, tiny little piece. And what always looks small in your hand, when you put it on your model, it looks like massive. <laughs> so we just take our time and we aim it for around the middle around there just go around with your hand just so that it softens the edges and if i turn it that way mm -hmm. can you see yeah do i need it to be that bit or we are we fine there. We're all are right. we there yeah it's fine now if you aim in the middle there you can't see because it's upside down but there we go like that you're doing well there we are is that in the middle yeah and then if we've got a knife tool on here i think yes it's we have I'll have to just turn it around this way a little bit. Go and turn it towards Maria sure? a minute. That's fine. Maria will be very happy. Just let me answer a question. So Lynn Bond has asked, can you put Tylo into modelling paste? Lynn, this particular paste isn't modelling paste. This one that we're using here, I forgot to bring some brown home for Sam. So we're actually using Renshaw ready to roll icing, which is why she's had to put Tylo in. 
the all the other colors is saraceno so we're using a combination of two if you're using modeling paste you do not need tylo cmc gum tag it's already firm enough for you if you're going to use ready to roll icing then yes you'll need to use one of those products I agree. <laughs> right. Did I get that right? Yeah. I'm well impressed. Did I have a stutter? No. Nope. Nope. You did. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now, Amazing. all I've done, I don't know if you can see, is just draw a line down his muzzle and giving him some little spots either side, some little whisker holes, and made two little dents for eyes. I might need to make those eyes a little bit bigger. These are lovely tools, Carol. Yeah, they're the FMM tools. They're brilliant, really aren't nice. they? Yeah, yeah. lovely. Sorry, Nick, but we're having new tools in the <laughs> No, the FM M tools are lovely and they're actually very, very strong. Yeah, yeah. They, they, Some of the, the, the tools I've had in the past, you know, you ping, ping off the ends. Mm, yeah, and, exactly. And yeah, they're bonded, cute. they're all in one, so there's no yes, ends on. Yeah. Oops. Which is great. I've just got little eyes all over the... You're the very door. welcome. There we go. So we're going to pick that up and put it, put it straight in. Now, I have got one of the fabulous pearl applicators at home. You'll tell me what they're called. It's We've a dry shake kiss. Um, it's got a dry shake kiss. And also oh, we got also yeah, known as a DK on. applicator. <laughs> so we've got a cracking audience, Sam. We've got 329 people watching oh you tonight. Yes, yeah. no pressure. It's really funny when you're in the kitchen because at a show you can only really talk to yes. three or four people. Even though there's people always knee deep, especially on our stand, mm. we're always you're full. always busy. Yeah, yes. but you can't speak to them all, so it's a great way to talk. Look, you're actually talking to 336 people, it's which like is amazing. Yeah, why do you have that many students? <laughs> well. <laughs> I've spoken yeah. to that many, I suppose. Now, all I've done here is make a little short cylinder. Can you see that? Like a little short, fat yeah. cylinder. So, correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody's just asking what amount of Tylo. And if I'm right, is it a teaspoon of Tylo to 250 grams? I would normally use half a teaspoon yeah. of Tylo. I think it's preference, yeah. isn't it? It's one of those. Yeah. Some people will say, oh, no, I use more. Yeah. Um, I've always been taught it's half a teaspoon to 250 grams of roll out sugar paste. But I, I'm also aware, and I think somebody's just mentioned that they use a teaspoon. So it really is down to preferential choice. Personally, I would go with half a teaspoon, mold it. You can't use it straight away. It does need to be really well kneaded in, okay? You then need to put it in a Ziploc bag and let it rest for at least half an hour to an hour. An hour depending what you're making, even overnight. Mm. Do you agree? I, yeah, I do use it straight away though, yeah. I must admit, I, I do. Um, and I always have, we used to use gum tracker camp years ago and we had to do that with, with right. leave um, it overnight. I, yeah, leave it overnight. Yeah. And it is good if you leave it overnight, but I tend to, I think it just gets flying stronger. by the seat of my pants, so I, you know, <laughs> yeah. use it straight away. So now, Sam's very much like myself, always on the go, <laughs> never stops. That's why it's took us so long to get her here. <laughs> So all I'm doing now is a little tiny roll of icing, a little ball of icing, nice and smooth. And we're going to give him a yellow nose because it is Easter. So we're going to just bob a little nose. So you just pop that half, oh, that. you cut that in half, didn't you? That half did. cylinder. So half a, semi <coughs> half a cylinder cut in half to make his ears. And if you wanted to, you could actually go in now and give him some little tiny bits of yellow He's looking you. cute. Very he's cute. not bad. His eyes are a little bit skunky, but we'll not hold that against him. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Poor little blighter. There we are. So we can go in and you can then personalise him. And this is what I teach my students. Just, you know, make him your own. Um, yeah. Make him into whatever you want him to be. Um, if you wanted, you could now get your um, if you've got a, a vein in tool, you could then turn it this way now make that a little bit yeah fluffy. a few people are saying that they do use it straight away but it is better if it's left for a bit yeah i think it just gives it time to just firm up a bit more yeah. but in fairness if you can use it straight away all it's going to do is firm up once it's made mm. yeah, isn't it <laughs> just lose his head a little bit because he's just a georgina bit nixon slow. says hi, hi sam your <laughs> students are here <laughs> oh they're a lovely bunch they are there we go. So there's a yep, very quick around. there. So we can all see, not just Maria. Oh, well, we're just sharing. <laughs> sharing. <laughs> oh. 
so cute. So what did we think of that? Yeah. Do we think that was easy? Are we all going to start making teddy bears now? Fantastic. <laughs> Just really a little cute. So a few people have said you made that look so easy. I actually think I could make that. That is yeah. really good. I'm just going to bob in there. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is show you how you can make the same model but turn him into a rabbit. Oh, right, okay. So, that's good. So this is when Easter comes in now. Now, you'll tell me what paste I've got now. You know. Saracino. Right, okay. Yeah. So I'm not going to put any tylos in this, I'm not no, going to need don't that. Need. You actually don't need one. a tylo for anything apart from the brown. There we go. I don't right. know what happened to all the brown Saracino, but it's gone. <laughs> so, the same again. Now this is a tougher paste, Yeah. and straight away... Do you want to bring the teddy in a little bit, just so we can see him in the corner there on the camera? He might be a bit shy. <laughs> <laughs> like there? Over there? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just so we can see him. That's oh, great. Okay. <laughs> Finger marks in him as Don't well. Don't worry, we can't see them. It's a bit chilly in here for <laughs> him. It's freezing in here, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> now I know why you've got a woolly jumper on. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to need this a little bit more than we needed the uh, the sugar paste. Make it nice and smooth. And we're going to just use some of it, first of all, to make a ball of ice and again we start with a ball and open those fingers up you know people all everyone does it different people just do it their own way but this is just the way over the years that I've found it works for me mm -hmm. and when you're teaching full-time which which I do I teach cake decorating full-time as well as sort of uh, flower technology and the students gonna hate me for saying this Chorley Wood bread process <laughs> assignments are due you know so um they, it, it's just the way we do it. it it's just how I found it an easy way to do things so what I'm doing now is exactly the same oh yeah as I did before mm -hmm. okay bring it up to a point and again just a little pinch there just the same that pinch is just so you know where to aim your legs and what you can do is put your glue in now so just this get it one tacky. is much tougher and it's not going to get the finger marks in that I got in with the mm. with the little bear. So we want it nice and tacky. I'm going to start with a ball again. Roll it into a cone. Uh, do you know I've got cones on the brain? It's because we start most models with a cone. Roll it into a cylinder. It's no wonder my students struggle with me teaching them that. <laughs> There we go. And this one's going to have some little skinny legs this time. I quite fancy him having, or her, might be a her, having some skinny legs. So we'll just go a little bit longer. And if you're rolling out a cylinder, you start in the middle and then open your fingers as you go. You can do the whole board by starting in the middle and opening up. And when I was a, a caterer, I'm manager, amazed how lovely and smooth yeah. you've got that because mine always has fingers. Bumps. Yeah, <laughs> mine always has the. You can see where my fingers are roll; all of them are indented. Mm. <laughs> Again, aim for the middle if you can. Okay, and then we're going to stick in some legs on. Like I say, he's going to have a bit longer legs this time. Hopefully, that's in the right spot. Elizabeth says, keep going, Mum. The dishes will still be waiting for you when you get home. Oh, I can guarantee that they will be, Elizabeth. <laughs> You're obviously sat with your dad. <laughs> so, again, pinch your fingers. Now, if you wanted to do bigger feet, you just make a longer gap. Go on, then. So, uh, yeah, feet like, that. like that. I don't think I've put enough glue there. So, I'll just turn him so I can see him. Can you still see him? It's a bit like Humpty Dumpty. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, like that. So you could dangle him. If you wanted to sit him on the edge of your cake, you could. With his legs dangled down, or you could have long feet. <laughs> Do what you like with them, really, once you've made them. Mm -hmm. So somebody was saying that they use tweezers to clip. The teddy bear for bits of fur? Yes, you can do, or you can use a veining tool and pull it up. I can show you that if you want me to. Oh, yeah. I'll show you on this one. Can you see from there? Yes, please. If I go there. So if I just very gently, you can just spend your time just going all over. So 
using tweezers is a really good idea as well. You can do it with that. Um, but if you turn your vein into a lover, you'll get a different kind of fluff, if you like. And just go all over him. He's going to have one odd leg now, so you're going to have to look <laughs> at him from that side. <laughs> I tend you pass to... him over here, do you want me to have a play with him? Do you want to have a go? Yeah, why not? Lift him up. Now he's very soft. You have to be really careful. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll get him out a little board in a minute. There you go. Do you want this? Sitting on that? Yeah. That'd be great. Thank you very much. That keeps me quiet. quiet. That's <laughs> going to keep you busy yeah. for a little while. That's with the lifting him up with a knife. There we go. Now, let's cross his legs on this one because he's a bit of a sassy, <laughs> sassy beast, this one. Okay, so again, open the fingers, make a ball, and then roll it into a sausage, or a cylinder shape. I wonder if all my other guys are watching. Georgina's Oh, there's there. lots of people. Georgina's here, yeah. Who else is there? Uh, there's been a lot. Uh, we love Chorley Wood Theory, really. <laughs> Catherine Etchells. Oh, oh, Catherine Etchells, um, yeah. Abby, wait a minute. Wait a minute Abby wait a minute. Donaldson. Yeah. They all. Oh, you know, don't you? I know them all. <laughs> uh, else, guys. Yeah. Again, so the same. Georgina thing. Gibson, is it? That's that's my colleague, Georgina. Jessica Hi. Copeland. Oh, that's my daughter in law. Yeah. They're all Aww. watching. Oh, dear. Yeah. Half good. the world are watching. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> so the same again. Just make a little dent round. When I first started off, you know, Carol, when I first started doing cake decorating, I was a, a, a food student, yeah. a catering student, and my friend was getting engaged, and she asked me, would I make her her engagement cake? So I did, and that was the start of my uh, love of cake deck, really. And I believe now at college, what they're going to do for you? Oh, it's really exciting. Well. We teach on the fan, on the FE side, so the college side. Already, cake decorating is part of our course, but the university side now, the foundation degree in bakery and patisserie, is actually going to be teaching cake decorating. Oh, that's and it fantastic! Looks like it's going to be me teaching it. So yeah. that's pretty cool. <laughs> now he's got some long arms, and the reason he's got long arms. It's because very shortly I'm going to make him a basket to go on his knee, to go with his little skinny legs. So there we go. Are we looking okay? Yeah, yeah. great. So you can just bend them. Now working with modelling paste is a lot different to working with sugar paste. I hope you're doing a good job over there, not mad You think cat. so? What, what do you think? think? Very good. Don't forget his tummy. Oh, yeah, I was looking say. a bit sad actually. Isn't it? <laughs> Look at his little face. Bless him. Yeah, that's what you get for making them upside down, really. Mm -hmm. oh, that's oh, good. I think it's mm -hmm. that's good. He's got a fat belly. Yeah. Nothing wrong with fat bellies. There no, we go. No, I've got one of those, I can vouch. <laughs> so, what we're going to do now is to make a head. So we're going to roll it nice and smooth. And if you get any lumps in it, you can actually squidge them out. So sometimes you get those little hard lumps. If you're quite sort of rough with it, you can get rid of them quite easily. So we're going to make a head, make sure it's not too big, which this one is. So we'll make some ears out of that bit. Now, again, see I've got my tools all over the place. Need to make more of a dent in the top. Put in some glue on the top. Take it to his head the same, don't I? Hmm. Yeah. Is he looking all right? Is he roughed up he enough there? He is. <laughs> he looks like he's been, been in through the mill, that one. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> I was looking good. My artist is good. I have a lean going on. Artist is like I thought he was drunk, is it? I don't <laughs> make him. He's leaving me out now. I'm on the lean. Go on, you put him back. Poor little boy. Might be a girl, you never know. No, it's definitely a boy, right, that. Give him me back, I'll carry on roughing <laughs> him up. So don't knock his head off, Carol. <laughs> I've had a few um, phone calls where I've done loads of cakes for my mum over the year, if she's not watching, and I, as soon as she gets back home, I get a phone call, I've lost his head. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is we're doing, but we've lost his head. Mm -hmm. So, 
Now this time I'm just going to put two little marks where I'm going to put his um, his muzzle, and I'm going to ask if I can have that white from there. And this is just some. Oh, I don't know what make this is. Is this? this is That's Saracena as well. As well. Uh, actually, is it very soft? It does fit. It's so just it sugar paste. Smells is that very vanilla? nice. Yeah, it's vanilla sugar paste. Oh, it smells. And lovely. the one that we're using there is a new one. Actually, it's one that we. I need to test properly. It's from Ireland, and it's sugar. Have a look in that it's cupboard super, there. Super paste. No, it's um. Just open, open that cupboard there. There's a tub there. <laughs> What's it called? It smells nice though, doesn't it? It smells delicious. That one. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, we've got the big Select Island. Select Island. So we're not stocking it yet at the moment, but we're thinking of stocking it. Yeah, it smells delicious. Yeah, so if it tastes, tastes delicious. Yeah, I was going to. I've had a taste. taste <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't that surprise me? <laughs> right, we're going to just make. I don't know how to describe this to you really. We're making him a bit of a moustache really. And if you can see that shape, so all I've yeah. done is make a, a cone shape, uh, a cylinder, and then I've just made some pointy bits at the end. If you can hear that crackling noise, it's not me for a change. Somebody's oh, eating the malt. Laura, no, I always get the blame. What's Carol eating? I'll eat mine in a minute when she's opened oh, hers. I won't try and be discreet she's now. She's going to eat it. Gonna go for it. She's going to make lots of rattles now. Sam gave us some chocolate. Do I need to fluff his ears? You can do. So can, I don't know if you can see that. Is that okay? So lots of little whisker marks. Keep it moving. Really light little marks. And then we're going to just paint where we're aiming it. So I'm just going to lean down a minute and just get that in there like that and we're going to pop that and we're going to give him a very big very important moustache because he's a very important rabbit okay, what we like we go. we're going there so laura while we're just doing this do you want to do your favorite bit yeah. as you got a gob full of chocolate <laughs> <laughs> that's really I that deliberately <laughs> Just want a big mouthful of chocolate in it. Yeah. what I have to put up with? It's just fully in this. <laughs> Don't complain when I'm getting the cake. So. <laughs> so, okay, so quickly, so for anybody who can't watch the whole live or has missed the beginning, um, the whole thing will be available to watch back on Facebook once we've finished. Um, so it will be pinned to the top of the page and then you can watch the whole thing back. It will also be available to watch on YouTube. Um, the easiest way to find us on YouTube is actually to subscribe to the channel, which is Sugar and Crumbs with Nifty Nozzles. Um, you won't just be able to see this live, but basically every live that we've previously recorded, including all of the one minute videos that are associated with them. Um, so they're a great way to refer back to things just to get some more ideas or to recap on the methods and techniques. Um, also for people who do it's want to purchase any of the products, um, so basically all the tools and everything like that that Samantha's using this evening are available to purchase from us at sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Um, there's also a Facebook Live wish list on the website. Hang on, Carol, let me get a picture of that. Out right. the shot. There we go. Um, <laughs> Carol's butchered there. <laughs> So all of the products that Samantha's using this evening um, are in the Facebook Live wish list. So if you go onto the website, right across to the right hand side on the subjects and then you'll see Facebook Live, wish list, drop down to this month and drop down to Samantha and you'll see all of the products and tools that we've Got mentioned. Sunday name. <laughs> Samantha, Stop Stop Sunday Samantha. Name. you are Samantha actually on the website. I know, I know, <laughs> noticed that, I thought, oh dear. So a couple of people have said, if you were going to give the teddy, teddy bear whiskers, what would you do? Well, I wouldn't unless I could do it edible because everything right. I make is edible. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't do anything that's not, but I suppose you could use a little bit of uh, flour wire, maybe. Yeah, yeah. The really fine flour yeah. wire, as Provided long as you it's not tell your customer yeah. mm. that it has got um, a bit of edible bits. Now, again, I'm making his ears and I'm doing them at the same time. So all I've done is roll the cylinder and just using the back of a paintbrush, which is a really useful tool in your kit box. Roll a piece of... Are you eating that now as well? Yeah, I'm eating mine. I thought that would be air first. 
Laura's trying not to. I told you guys come on, it'd be mad, didn't I? I mm. told you it was bonkers. And Laura's trying not to let the microphone hear her, but they never hear her because she's too far away, but they always hear me. I'm normally so good as well. I never normally <laughs> eat on a Facebook live. So I'm now, that's my fault, is it? Am I yeah, gonna play? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm just rolling. Right, this do you want to turn that rabbit round I so they can do. see? I'm gonna just put his ears on and then I'm gonna show you. It'll be the big reveal, Carol. That's what it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be a big reveal. So I'm just making like a teardrop shape. And then that's going in there and there. And then if you just use your uh, boning tool. So somebody's asked what we're making tonight. <laughs> Basically, well, I asked Samantha to come along <laughs> and do whatever she could do. She did tell us she was going to make an Easter theme cake. I and then it changed to models. But she's actually going to show you a few little things tonight, a few tricks. So, and some of it she's going to make up because she said she's very good at doing those types of things. So, <laughs> every day it works. So, you know. <laughs> so basically, we have just made a teddy bear, and from the same type of um, basic model of the teddy bear, she's now going to make a rabbit. I believe mm. that she might make a. Is it a lamb? You're gonna make. We might get round to making a lamb. We might get round to there. making a lamb. We might get round to making some daffodils as well. You might. We're guess. not sure. We've got a few things that we're gonna make, so we're not actually sure where it's gonna go. This cake. It's <clears> all <throat> just going to pull together. Honest. Honest. Just sit back and enjoy. Good. That's such a good way of making is. I, I yeah, I do everything at the same time. Yeah. So it's it's even. It's equal weights. Yeah. Everything. And it should start to look a little bit more. Can you turn it more. round so they can see some? Sorry. Because the only person who can see Yay. is me. It's Maria. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing a good job. We're doing a good job. If you want that camera going at the back. Give you um, any fingers, can you see all of us and all of this? Well, I don't mind. I don't. Just turn him round this way. Right. Where um, do you want me? If you can just stop one minute, we're going to get Maria gonna get to change the camera, the camera <laughs> and then they can all see. It does mean that the audience will now be able to see Laura and I <laughs> scoffing chocolate. <laughs> Laura says she's at hers. So we're just going to put it here. And to be fair, you don't need to face it upwards, you just need to be facing it down over to Sam there, don't you? So yeah. that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just hold on a moment. We're on it. Yeah, Sam's a girl after myself, likes to wing it. <laughs> Somebody's just saying you're winging it. Oh, always. I spend my life. <laughs> Fly by the seat of my pants. <laughs> perfect. So, are perfect? Good. There, yeah. then Sam doesn't need to struggle anymore now. There we go. And so all I'm going to do is give him a little brown nose so that we've got matching uh, bear and the rabbit. So we're just going to give him a little nose. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted to, you could give him some teeth, couldn't you, underneath there? So there he is. Yeah, you got mm -hmm. him? Brilliant. Happy with that one? Yeah. Mm, so it's just that. exactly the same principle. Can we see on that camera now? Can see them both, yeah. We've got a brilliant view now. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. <laughs> Okay. Can they see us? No. No, good girl. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to have a seat for a minute because yeah. all my students know that I have a really, really bad back. Yeah. So I'm just going to have to sit for a little while. It works standing up though all it the is. time, isn't it? Yeah. It so is. everybody absolutely loves that. It's so, so simple. Cute. Absolutely. Oh, I know what we're missing. Gosh, make him into a proper rabbit. He will need a fluffy tail. Yes. So if I just turn him around like this, and anybody, you can do these so I easily. I love his eyebrows, don't you? <laughs> so cute. Oh, you might need a trip to the, the beautician, but mm -hmm. there you go. So or if you've got a little tree coming and stuff. I'll put that around. Yeah. Oh, just right so I can add some stuff to this list. And then you can just bob it on. And then, as Carol did with the um, teddy bear, we're just going to fluff his tail up a little bit. And you mm. might need to hold it on a bit just to stop it escaping. <laughs> um, but there we go, just like that. Dead simple. I say to my students, nothing is hard once you're shown how. Mm. You know, and some of my students have gone on to be cake designers, cake decorators. I've got them working in all sorts of places. I've been doing my job seven years now, and, and I'm very proud of the, all their achievements. 
Uh, but they all start with a little journey there like this yeah, one here. Yeah, absolutely. So there we go. So there's two Super. little models to start us off. Yeah, How and you that? made it look so easy. Yeah. Well, it is what you think. Do you like them, Maria? <laughs> <laughs> so that might just need a touch more glue look just there. Okay, and just take your time. And just hold it for a second if it starts to come away. There we go. Gorgeous. How's that? Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely fabulous. Everybody is absolutely loving them. <laughs> so I think for Easter we'll be having lots of teddy bears and bunny yeah. rabbits. Good. 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 That's what we like to see. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a little basket. And we're going to put quite a lot of tylos in this now because we want it to firm up really quickly and a good medium to use in this uh, to make a, an easter basket would be marzipan oh, right. marzipan is super and you can actually I've got some put, marzipan here do you want some marzipan uh, no well we'll go with the uh, sugar paste and we'll yeah. see see where we go with it i love marzipan do you oh cracky if <laughs> i was like using it i've got to yeah. be honest if oh, i was using no. marzipan now i'd be scoffing it for do fun you, do you know, Carol, I don't like icing or marzipan. Do you know? Not How lucky are you? No, I don't. I think it's a good job, really, because I would eat it. So I'm just mixing that in, and it is quite a sticky paste. So you need to really mix that in well, knead it in really well. Um, I tend not to use any corn flour when I'm kneading, and then a little bit of corn flour when I'm modelling. So we'll see how we go, because it is getting a little bit sticky. I might have to wash my hands in a minute. Yeah, no worries. So we shall just see where we go. And what I tend to do when I'm making baskets like this with the students is one of their first things they have to make is a harvest basket right. with miniature fruits in because the requirement is to make fruits, marzipan yeah. fruits. Well, students don't really like marzipan fruits. They don't like. I don't know. I used to get them for them. Christmas. After. When I was a little girl, yeah. I used to get a little box of marzipan fruits for Christmas. Do you remember that? They're yeah, disgusting things. <laughs> <laughs> so the students don't like them much, neither. So we start with a base like this. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try and put it so it's near our bunny. Okay? So the way we do it is to roll. And I'm getting a bit sticky. Let me just have a little bit of corn flour. There we go. Is to roll our ice in nice and smooth it doesn't have to be too level now we want it a little bit sort of wobbly if you like mm -hmm. a little bit uneven because we're going to wind it round this now hopefully we won't need a lot of glue because it should stick to itself and certainly if you're using marzipan you don't need to use glue so like i said before if you start in the middle and then roll it out now if it breaks, see the point there where mm. it's starting to look a little bit like it's going to break. Just go back in and you can join it a bit. But on this occasion, if it breaks, it doesn't matter because we're going to go around the outside of this, like this, with a tiny bit of glue. And then we're going to wind it. So we're just going to build our basket to there and then we're going to break it off. I'm going to just leave it sticking up. Oh, it doesn't that. matter if it's how it looks. It's your basket. You make it your way. There's no right or wrong with cake deck. And I tell, say this all the time to my students. Try it. If it doesn't work, or you just roll it up and start again. again. So we'll go to there. We're going to go another layer. And we're just going to a little bit of icing round like this. I think shortly we're going to get Carol to put the kettle on. Mm. Mm -hmm. You ready for your third <laughs> coffee of the night? Third coffee of the <laughs> night. I made so many brews. <laughs> Would you like one? All my, all, my, all my colleagues will be laughing at this point because they all know what I like. <laughs> You're very lucky. I normally make one brew. You make your own after. No, I can't <laughs> do this. My students will be going, what's going on? I, I, mean, I can tell you, my, my friend Kirsty, if Kirsty's watching, she'll tell you. Look at that. You've she left brews. Oh, it's because we started <laughs> in a hurry. <laughs> My friend Kirsty at work, she brews up all the time for me. She's so good. She's ace. Now all I'm going to do is just put some little pieces over so it looks as though it's been woven in. Can you see that mm. from there? Yeah. Yeah. 
Which my students won't believe it. They get one brew and have to make their own after. Ah, uh, well. See, I'm older than you, Carol, so you can make the brew. <laughs> there you go. And it looks then as though we're just anchoring it in. Mm. You know, as though it's been, been woven in. Yeah. And if you make this with marzipan and do it in a chocolate brown, it looks super, absolutely super. So just go around it like this. And then you can give it a bit of a platted handle. How are we looking? Brilliant. That do. So I'm just going to lift it up now, otherwise it's going to be stuck to this. Kirsty is watching. Hi, Kirst. <laughs> Kirsty. Kirsty looks after me at work. She says, like, I'm, I'm Sam's Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what she normally calls herself. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we go. So, we're just going to make some little eggs to go in. Some different colours. Carol's got me some lovely pastel shades here. Oh, Carol, that's gone really rock hard now. <laughs> we did start it a bit too early, maybe. <laughs> no, it's okay, you know what, a little bit, so it should be okay. What are you doing there? Are you all right? You're yes. looking after me, aren't you? <laughs> See, it's going really dry. So what we'll do is we'll get a little bit. I only want a little bit, so I'll just put a little bit of white in with it. So just to let go. everybody know, when Saraceno is, when you come to you, Saraceno is very firm. It really it, is. Yeah. It's and good when stuff. it's been in the bag, you do need to just pop it in the microwave for a couple of seconds yeah. just to soften it up. It's good stuff though, guys. It's lovely. It smells and nice, doesn't it? Really smooth as well. So just put a little bit more in it now. So we'll just add that in. I don't know about you, Carol, but I tend to have little bits of icing left over mm -hmm. from all the projects we've done. Yeah. And making things like little eggs to go in baskets and you know, Christmas, little presents to go under the tree, things like that, I tend to, to sort of squirrel my bits of icing mm, away. Your leftovers, yeah. yeah. I have to hide them from our uh, lady who tidies up after me at work. <laughs> like she tidies me into the bin, you know. So we're just making some tiny little eggs. So it's just little cone shapes just to go in our basket. So we might get a little pink one maybe, or blue. Blue might be nice, mightn't it? I've got pink up here if you want to break them off I'm going to do a blue one, Carol. I think that'll look quite good. Three little eggs on his Easter egg hunt, like that. So at college, when they're making their harvest baskets, they would put marzipan fruits in these because it just it fits the bill and and it is more interesting than just a box of marzipan fruits. Karen at work is watching. She'll be amazed how I've made a brew. Karen has to make <laughs> all our brews in work. She's watching at the moment. She'll be wondering what the She'll hell's be going wondering on. wondering what you're up to. So just at the moment, I'm just twisting some paste if you just twist it into to almost looking like wood um, or twigs or vine, anything you want it to, to become. And then we're just going to pop it either side like this. Pull it off. We don't want it too perfect. Cake decorating is not always about perfection. No. We go over the top like that and we've got a little carry handle just like that. Okay. So Super. that's the start of our sort of Easter bunny. Brilliant. Sitting there. Yeah, he looks so cute. He's not bad, is he? No, he's not bad he's very at all. cute. <laughs> so I'm just going to wash my hands, Carol. Yeah, okay. go on then, you go and wash your hands. Wash my hands. And then Maria and Laura will give a little shout out and tell them where they can buy products from. <laughs> Nesma's just joined us. She says she didn't know that Saracino needed microwaving. The first time she used it, she had the three year old using his muscles and a massive metal rice scoop to spoon it out. Yeah, they do. <laughs> With any modelling paste, can I just tell you, you do need to pop it in the microwave. Not long. Do it in 10 second bursts. Don't go and put it in for full 30 seconds or anything like that. Just do it in 10 second bursts. I do remember I was going down the motorway and I got this message. It was over the weekend. 
and the message came through and it was a lovely little old lady going, I don't know what's going on with my Saraceno, but it's rock hard <laughs> and my husband can't break it. Anyhow, I actually told her that, you know, she's got to leave it at room temperature, get somebody strong to cut it because she had one kilo and then just pop it in the microwave. She did ring me back later and say thanks very much. It's right. worked, yes. <laughs> but modelling paste is very, very strong. And if you add Tylo or gum tag or CMC to your rollout paste as well, and you add too much, you'll have the same problem. Now I'm going to pinch him now, and I'm just going to pop him on the middle of the cake up there. And I'm going to do this. Just stick them on with a little bit. I'm afraid this bear's not going on this. Oh, <laughs> he's not made the cut. He's not made the cut. Oh, what was wrong with him? Oh, oh should we put him on? Yeah, what's wrong with him? You Don't you ask... like his fur? Well, no. Not <laughs> <laughs> I thought his fur was quite cute. You know you well. <laughs> should we sit here next to him? Yeah, of course you should. Be, does what's he want to be his yeah, buddy? Can show does everyone he want to be his buddy? Uh, what's wrong with his fur, Sam? Nothing's wrong with his fur, Carol. Honest. <laughs> It's just his squonky eyes I'm worried about. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. So, so that's what's not made the cut. My, not my fur, then. Yeah. He's sort of looking a little bit sinister there, aren't there? We're going to turn him round. Oh. <laughs> he looks so cute. I don't think he looks has wonky eyes, do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he's got his head cute. tilted. There's nothing yeah. wrong with my fur, is there? <laughs> She's trying to blame my fur when it's her wonky eyes. that actually don't look wonky whatsoever. <laughs> Look at that, everybody. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Nicky Rimmer Rowland says, Have you wrecked him, Carol? <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't ganache, I can ruin that. Oh, yeah, anything in the microwave. My, my, my... I love the basket, look at that. Yeah, it's really cute. My colleague Sarah is a super ganacher and she, she'll bake the cakes and ganache them for me, and I'll cover them. So, we're a really good team, but we have some fun. We really do. We have some fun, some of the things we do. So how's that? So what would you like Super. me to do next for you? Yeah, go on then. We've got Shall some we, lambs uh, to make, I believe. Something to do. Go. You can either make some with those lovely chocolate Easter eggs that you brought. Is this a subtle hint? Yeah. <laughs> or if you don't, there'll be somebody over here scoffing them in this really cold <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> this kitchen's freezing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have a go at making oh, those. It's a while oh, since I did these. Probably oh. a year. No pressure. Oh. Okay, so we're going to just have a little bit of our corn flour on here. The first thing we're going to do is get our cream egg. Cream eggs are just the best. <laughs> and you're going to need four feet because animals have four feet. So we're going to just warm some paste up. My hands are so cold, I can't get my hands going. I don't know why I'm so cold. I know, it's I'm normally too so hot, to be honest. Yeah, no, I have to agree with you. I know what it is. We had people stay here last week and they turned the heating down upstairs because they oh, said they no. were too hot. And of course, I've not been here to go back upstairs and turn it <laughs> on. So this one radiator here is working like mad. Yeah. Just suppose you want to run upstairs and try and turn the <laughs> heater on, Laura. Oh, man, you, uh, you've got to do the camera. I better run upstairs and do the heater. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Might It'll be, be so warm idea. now, Carol. We won't know what to do. We won't know what to do now. It'll be so warm. Okay, so I'm just making four cylinders to stand him on. Okay. Like I say, it's been probably a year since I made these, so, you know. Just like that. Oh, I know why it's cold. Oh, all the windows are open. Okay, so we're going to just put some glue on our feet like this. And then we're just going to put our cream egg sat on ah. our feet like that. Okay. And then we're going to... <laughs> you're laughing already. You know, I'm you're really laughing. loving this. I'm falling in love. <laughs> so... We're now going to roll out some icing and we need it nice and warm because we're going to roll it into a long sausage. The windows were open. Yeah. Got a draft going through. I know, the but I thought it was cold though, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Right, what are we making here? Well, we've Look got four that. feet. Yeah. That's a clue. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to roll 
alongside me. I sound out of breath now. I am, I'm not You good. left it up and stairs. Yeah. Is this modeling paste or just uh, just this is just sugar just paste? Sugar paste. Now. Yeah. Just sugar paste. And we're going to roll it into a long sausage. And we want this really fine now. You could use an extruder if you wanted, but they get eaten so quickly yeah. that um you, you won't need to bother. And we'll just if I just look at which end. Yes, it's all right. I'm just remembering which end's which. Because <laughs> it's like you said, it's been a little while since we made these. I did these at the skills show um, with, with work. And as fast as I was making them, they, we had some army cadets there. They were eating them. And I kept making a row and they'd come back and they were gone. <laughs> so, And the egg wasn't refrigerated first. It's just been at room temperature, to be honest. But it it's isn't, just cold. It's freezing <laughs> in the kitchen, so it doesn't need to have been in the fridge. <laughs> no. It is freezing in here, I have to tell you. We oh, just want this gosh. nice and thin. So the longer, the better. The thinner, the better. And then we're just going to stick it on our icing. We're just going to make a pattern on the icing. And this is random. You just put it on exactly how you want to do it. So just a bit of glue all over. Don't forget his bottom. There we go. Like this. And if you just start at the back and just weave a pattern, it should stick. It is a little bit cuddle in here. I personally wouldn't refrigerate these because it doesn't help the glue stick. The icing stick. Does it not? No. Right. I wouldn't freeze it. I wouldn't no. chill them any of okay. They get almost like a wet condensation yeah. on them, don't yeah. they? You know, if you've been in the fridge. I wouldn't even think so about it. just going to go a bit wiggly wiggly. And if anybody remembers... Plus they don't get time to be chilled. <laughs> <laughs> Scoffed, no, I'd it? only had them in the building five minutes when we've got them open. But <laughs> I can't wait to open them. How many of these are you using? <laughs> One for me, one for Maria. <laughs> two for Maria. Who? Yeah. <laughs> and you two. Have you? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so when I say in a minute, oh, I'd have made another one. But <laughs> yeah, but one actually, you know, you scoffed them. <laughs> so just take your time. It's nice and um, soft. This icing's lovely for doing this, Carol. It really mm -hmm. is beautiful it is icing. It's gone on really nicely, that has. And we'll just pull that little piece off. It's good in Select stretch. Island. Yes. Beautiful. Select Island. So we're just giving him a bit of a fleece. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn him round in a minute. Everyone now is going to say, what on earth? What are you making? What are you making? <laughs> no, I can see it coming can together. Can you see it coming together? Yeah. That's yeah. good. That's good. So now we're going to just roll a piece of ice and we're going to make a face. Okay, and what you need to do is to just pull his face flat at the back, round at the front, like this, nice and smooth. If you get a little bit sticky, just a little bit of cornflour. Don't get over cornflowered, that's the, the secret. I've never heard that term, no, over cornflour. Well, I have cornflower kings and queens in my class because sometimes they can be covered in it absolutely covered in icing and we've got to aim it to fit on there so we're just going to pull it a little bit more like this and I don't know if you can just see it's going to be that shape mm -hmm. yeah you all think I'm bonkers now don't you <laughs> <laughs> listen just just mention to, to Kirsty if Kirsty's still listening about Scooby-Doo's we've got a little Cover on there. Colour. Just get rid of that. Um, just ask her about the Scooby Doo icing and see if she fesses up. Fesses <laughs> up. Okay, so we're just going to give him a face. Now, not much at the minute. Poor little, little bleating heart <laughs> going on. Look. Okay. Just going to pull it down like this. And give him. I don't you can see that it's thin. <laughs> yeah. He has a little mark either side. I'll turn it round in a minute. It's all right, don't worry. I've got you on now. the side one, yeah. So we've got like a T going on. Yep, just you can see that. Up 
and uh, so it doesn't look much till you start putting, putting those features, all the features yeah. in okay and if you just put your thumb if you can underneath and we're going to give him two eyes like this ah oh, that's it the eyes make it in a <laughs> they do i've never seen a lamb with a brown body before though Oh, well, if, you, if I'd have won the cream, <laughs> the white one, here, yeah. I'd have been in the, in the Caribbean <laughs> by now. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit busy to do your Facebook <laughs> live. <laughs> There'd have just been a blank screen. But what would you have done if you'd have opened it tonight while you were here? What? <laughs> I'd have been gone. The white chocolate one. <laughs> I'd have been trying to get out of it. thousands of pounds, apparently. <laughs> Oh, I see, is it? I yeah. don't know. I wonder what you yeah. wrote about. Why is there a white chocolate one going on, is there? Yeah, it's a, like a competition to right. find a white chocolate cream egg. Yeah, I could, I could imagine I could eat a fair few trying to find them. So yeah. I'm just making two counts. <laughs> yeah, we're doing our best. <laughs> doing our best. We're going way through the Two little cones now, and we're going to go either side. And if you stick it to his body as well, it'll help him to not lose his ears and oh that's so that. cute it's really is it really cute is it looking so cute yeah even though he has got a brown body <laughs> everyone's a critic <laughs> and now he needs some curly hair so i'm just going to paint some glue on the top there and perhaps a little bit down each side there and i just give him some little curls so i just give him some little balls of icing really small and you're just going to place them on and they'll just stick wherever you put them i think he's a bit cute yeah really really he's cute. Cute too. i bet we see a lot of these being yeah. made well, we've been doing them for quite a few years now the first one we did was probably when i first started about six years ago and we did a big easter egg hollow oh, easter right. egg um and we, we raffled it off for one of our charities at work so yeah, that's a good idea. It's been hanging, mm. been, this design's been hanging around a while. Yeah. A lot of people do them with royal icing. Right. Oh, so yeah, you yeah. could do royal icing yeah, if you wanted. It on. And it, oh, that's what I was going to say before. I forgot. Years ago, it would be called filigree oh, pattern. Yeah. Right. So there you go. People will probably say, no, it's not called cool, <laughs> that. But that's what we used to call it. Yeah. You could put loads of them all over, fill in all the. No, I'm oh, not. just that. Just on the on the top. I'm just going to give a bit of an Elvis quip, I think. <laughs> just on the top. So just build it up. No, I'm not going to bore everybody while I make the little white balls, Carol. I don't think <laughs> I'm not that mean. Maybe I'll save that for my students on Wednesday. They can sit and make little white balls. Oh yeah, lots of love hearts, lots of thumbs ups and likes here. Yeah. Do you know what's nice about this? You can actually do this with the children. Yes. Yeah. So for it's each it's just lovely, it's isn't, nice, it? isn't it? Yeah, it's achievable, and that's okay. what people are absolutely loving. Good. Well, that's why I've come on, because I, you know, that some of the designs these ladies and gents are putting on are absolutely superb, but we all have to start somewhere. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing because so many people, it's like our community group, yeah. so many people come on and they all put the most amazing things on and say they're only a hobby baker. Then you get, when we won't have the hobby We're baker not, dispute, okay, <laughs> but then you get other people who think, oh my God, they're only a hobby baker. Yeah. I can't show them what I've made. And the group is meant to be for everyone to share. Absolutely. Everyone to share, everyone not to be nervous about what they're showing off, you know. Show us. And while, we're while I'm talking about the group, if you haven't heard of the group, we have a fabulous group called um, Sugar and Crumbs All About Cake Community. We have over 17,000 members. They're active members. I think 16,000 of them are active. We get loads and loads of reactions on there every day. It's a very positive group. Anything negative, we bring it to a stop. We're not interested in any negativity at no. all. And um, some people do laugh because they usually jump in with a comment. Right, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> but negativity is not welcome in the group. It's about sharing your cake. It's about learning skills. And I know most of you are members, and I'm sure you can back me up on what an amazing group it is. And then fair, Sam came in tonight. And what did you say, Sam? remember <laughs> <What did laughs> about the community Lots group things. oh i think it's brilliant absolutely brilliant it's actually one of the friendliest nicest groups out there it is it's lovely 
Shall we put him on the cake? Definitely. You sounded convincing there, I Sam. I am. Sorry, I am. <laughs> concentrating. I'm concentrating, Carol. I'm making a sheet. Oh, he oh. looks so cute. Look. I love him. Are you ready? Can we pop him there? Oh, he's so cute. Okay. He, de he deserves an award, him. <laughs> Doesn't he? You got him, Maria. He's we lovely, see him. isn't he? We got turn him around there. We love him. <laughs> yeah. He's so well, cute. He he's so cute. cute. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> adorable. <laughs> Well, done, right. Sam. well, if you like him, you yeah. might like. Let me introduce you to this little fella. So, All right, what are you going to make next? Uh, this is what I just like, me. Just let's knock him out for fun. <laughs> I'll have to have a, a mouthful of my coffee because I'm getting Absolutely, you carry on. So, are we loving this, everyone? Come on, get those uh, thumbs up. I bet they've all gone home by now. No, no, no. no, no, no. 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 You've got so a cracking a really good audience. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't tell me. You're them. not going anywhere. <laughs> no early dash for me to get no, home. No, not at all. Never mind, it's an hour's drive. Okay, yeah. guys, no, no worries. <laughs> we don't care that you've got a long way to go. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to roll a little ball of icing and I'm going to flatten it. And then I'm going to make it into a little point at the back. And I'm just going to make it into almost like a heart shape. I don't know if you can see that, like that. Yeah. Like a heart. And then we're going to flatten it out one way and flatten it out the other. And that'll give you a little base for putting your egg on. Okay. So everybody's putting all their fabulous comments about how the group is very supportive, yeah. how everybody helps each other. And I'm not sure you're all going to agree that we keep it very positive. As soon as there's anything on there that upsets anybody, ding dong, bye. Yeah, absolutely. And then I get a message up and why do you delete my post? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't deleted any of mine, so I must be very <laughs> positive. <laughs> okay, so all I've done is make what looks like a little base. And I'm going to go in with the small end of the ball in saw and just... Make it three little holes like that. You're Quite gonna curious think, what, you're what on it. earth is she making? But we're going to sit this mm. like this if that gives you a clue. Do so, you know? Yeah, yeah. I've done one of these. Have time. you done these? A long time wow. ago. So a little bit of glue on the bottom and just press it down, not too hard. Okay. Is there any clues yet? The duck. Yeah. A, a little chick. A oh, little a chick. chickadee. <laughs> so we're just gonna This is just time. so good because you can be there with the kids and make these, yeah. can't you? The kids love this type of stuff because it's just like playing with plasticine to them, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. You know, I found that when we uh, we had Georgie Gobbled here last summer and all the adults were here struggling making models and stuff like that. And one of the ladies had brought her granddaughter and my granddaughter came and they sat at the end, easy peasy to them. Yeah. They just whacked them out, no fear. Yeah. That's it. There's, there is no fear. There's no filter for children. They just no, go for it. They just go for it. <gasps> Your husband says you make an amazing snowman. Oh, yeah, I do the <laughs> snowman with a Mars bar in it. That's what he's talking oh, about. Oh, you'll have to come back at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did the snowman and the snow dog a few years ago um, from the film, obviously. And, and I was so proud of them. And my students, I had a young man at the time who's, who was such a talented young man. His name's Toby. He's not part of my group anymore. He's, he's gone off to pastures new. He's, he's sort of flown the nest, if you like. Um, and he was phenomenal. And he made the best little boy from the snowman and the snow dog you've ever seen. It was just superb. Wow. Um, and he's sort of... We used have to we have got that face in the camera so we can see? Now, can we see it on that all camera? All I've done... Yeah. That one over there where yeah. Maria is. All I've done here is just two teardrops two teardrop shapes. Now if you want it's a chick, it, Carol. <laughs> Somebody said, is it a duck or a chick? Well, <laughs> chick. we think a chick. Um, his feet are looking a bit dodgy, but he's fine, he's fine. So all I'm going to do is just give these a few sort of marks to mark where sort of feathers would be, if you like. And he's going to have a brown body, Carol, be warned. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. You are right with that? Yep, brown body chick, that's fine. Brown got a brown body bodied chick. lamb. Yeah. Well, why not? <laughs> a yellow rabbit. It's all new here, we don't mind. And we're just going to give him a I've never seen a yellow rabbit before, have you? 
<laughs> I did um, a yellow rabbit. If, if Jess is still watching my daughter in law, she had a yellow rabbit on the top of her. It looks actually um, quite cute in yellow. Baby shower cake because Aww. we didn't know if it was a boy or a girl, but he was a little boy. Oh. So when he was named, he had all the um, characters of his wallpaper Aww. on at this nursery. So we're just going to stick his wings on like that. And if you, you know, if you're feeling a bit like you could give him a. Oh, I like that. Uh, you know, I like that yeah. idea. So just make it yours. Yeah. Yours, you own it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Like that. Now I need a bit more yellow. Elizabeth is off to bed. Good night, sweetie. See you in the morning. So anybody who hasn't, it doesn't know, Elizabeth is Samantha's daughter, a younger daughter. She's only 14. The time she goes to bed, she's got school in the morning. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Good girl. She's such a good kid. Now we need a little head, maybe a little bit more than that. Can I see that on my camera there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where I'm positioned, I can't see. You can't see. You're not getting the benefits no. of this. You're not. I can only see the back of him. Well, we'll give him a little tail in a minute and then you'll have something to look at. So this time I'm going to make the dent in the top, sorry, in the bottom of the head so that it actually will sit on the comb so you don't lose it on the way to wherever you're going unlike the mother who loses everything <laughs> Had that many phone calls to say sam you need to come and rescue me <coughs> okay so we'll try and not give this one squonky eyes okay <laughs> they want you back at easter doing the shirt at easter at christmas doing the snowman and the snowman and the snow, snow dog, dog. <laughs> well if nick will let me you have to get around nick Yes, Nick, the big boss is watching everybody. <laughs> so you need to tell the big boss he has to let Samantha leave early on a Monday <laughs> to come and do her filming tell here. Him, tell him not to timetable me on Yeah, Monday. exactly. There we go. So he's now got two little eyes. Nick will be getting a petition sent to him tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Should be hounded by two Should I come his followers say? <laughs> You know, we, we do all sorts at Reese Heath. I don't know if anybody knows the college, but we've just had a massive lambing event for the last two weekends. We are a land-based college, and we do um, agriculture, horticulture, floristry, equine, um, animal management, veterinary nursing. We do everything. But it's a beautiful college. You've, you've got everything you've been, there, haven't you? Yeah, you've yeah. been. Um, and you're coming to judge my competition, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, not told, oh, yeah. yeah. So, don't know if Natalie Porter's watching, but me and Natalie Porter are she going to... She doesn't know yet, does she? <laughs> she doesn't know. I haven't told her. <laughs> Sam has asked me, will I go and uh, judge the competition? Which was it for? No pressure. It's our cake-off competition, which we've done this year for, um, I think it's now Georgina. If Georgina Gibson's still watching, she'll tell us what it's about. It's, it's school children. Um, high school children, I'm just making a diamond by the way, if anybody's still watching what I'm doing. Um, so they come to us, they bring their cake, we provide the icing and they decorate their cake with us and then Carol is going to judge my competition. Mm. And because I've got Natalie Porter with us this week, that weekend, I'm she's dragging her along. <laughs> so Natalie Porter doesn't know that she's going judging as well. <laughs> Sam was highly delighted when I told her. I went, yeah, bring that to the me. Absolutely <laughs> thrilled to bits. So I'm not sure who the other judge is yet, but watch this space. So I've just made a diamond. Oh, look at that. So little, easy. Mm -hmm. A little, little line in it. And then just remember to just thin it top and bottom so it doesn't look too chunky. And then sometimes when you put these on, they do fall off. So we've just got to watch. And I think the secret with glue is not to use too much. Um... He's a bit cheeky, this one, look. Look, he's a bit of a cheeky <laughs> monkey, really. He's got too much to say for himself. So there we go. <laughs> there we are. So he he's might great. stay on. How's he? He looks cute. Is Brilliant. he a bit cheeky? Yeah. So we could give him a little bit of a tail at the back, a little bit of a tail feather just at the back there. Okay, so again tend not to use cutters and things when I'm teaching students. I want them to get the hands in it, get them used to different hand shapes. Um, and that's that's how I teach, you know. I, I really love doing my job. 
I'm very lucky. I am very lucky to be doing the job I do. Um, watching students achieve end of, end of June when they all walk across that stage. They, they all laugh at me, but I'm in tears watching yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely, because you've watched them come yeah. through everything. Yeah. And you've helped them get there, which is amazing. So credit to you. That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, that's so cute. Yeah, Do you want me to put him on the cake? Right, as well? I think so, yeah. Before Kyle have a little family. <laughs> There's going to be a fight between Maria and uh, myself. There oh, we so go. Cute. <laughs> little range of animals. That's yeah. great. Do you want to turn him around there for a close up? Yeah, perfect. So they're so easy, aren't they, guys? When exactly. Sam shows you how easy they are. <laughs> so there's nothing stopping you making these with the children. They'd be great. The kids are going to love them. So then, Sam, what else are you going to knock out now, then? <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Just let me slurp. <laughs> I love that. Let me slurp. Let me slurp. Let me slurp. It's the one thing we can't have in our bakery is a cup of coffee. And yeah. I do miss it. Um, with BRC accredited, so our college the standards are really really high you I mean you'll know about BRC Carol I'm sure you've been oh, anyway haven't yes, you yes absolutely um so uh, you know you can't just have a brew but the students have got used to it not yeah. having juice and all the rest of it so, so Sheila Howard says I must be quackers I um, love the chick <laughs> thank you <laughs> Sheila that's lovely <laughs> And Vicky Buffham says, I can finally justify buying a shed load of cream eggs. Cream eggs. <laughs> I need to practice on. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got them on special in the supermarket. I've just been. <laughs> um, is it sugar glue we're using? No, you can use sugar glue. We're just using edible glue. We're using yeah. Squires tonight. But any edible glue, or you could make your own sugar glue if you wanted to. It's very yeah. easy. So what are we going to do now, Sam? Wow. So you have been running one and a half hours oh, live. Oh, really? Oh, my So days. she was thinking, what am I going to do in an hour? She'd be finished. <laughs> no, that does it tonight, does, does it? <laughs> Doesn't time fly by? We'll have to come back and do daffodils. Yeah. <laughs> so um, there's no tutorial. You'll just have to keep watching the live. We don't actually write anything down. Or anything we just have to go back afterwards when the live is finished anybody who wants to follow what we've done just go back through the live fast forward stop start when you want you can't do it while we're live at the moment you'll have to wait till we finish so what I'm gonna make now then, so Sam? what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to show you how to make a sheep the same way as we made the bears same shapes but line a different way okay, okay. great so this is gonna be a brown sheep no, it's going to be a white sheep. <laughs> Just check it. It's a bar bar white sheep. Okay. A so bar bar should... white sheep. <laughs> Tell a teach kids. Don't you? <laughs> so, start off with your with your cone shape. Instead of that way, this time we're going to take it this way. Okay. Then you're going to make. This is a lovely paste to work with. Mm, it's nice, isn't it? Definitely going to get mm -hmm. some of this. Mm. If Penny's watching, sorry Penny, but we're going to have to have some icing from sugar and crumbs. But well, we don't actually sell it just yet. Not yet. Well, when no, you it's, do, um, it's a gentleman customer. from Island Select, and he wants to know if we'll stock it. But it is nice, yeah. It's beautiful, really beautiful. Now, making another cone, just a small one, and this is going to be his face. And you can see straight away that is going to be a bit of a monkey, this one. Look. Now, if I just come down here again, can I, can I just get that way? Just so that he hasn't got a. So we just do the T again, so like a little bar, ha ha, ha ha, and down <laughs> like that. Okay, I'm just going to make it so that he's got a dent here to put his eyes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Then he needs two little cones for ears, and I tend to do the features last. But on this one, I'm going to do his ears first because I'm going to give him his leg coming up to his mouth as though he's t just told these guys a joke, you see. <laughs> so, <laughs> I did warn you was bonkers, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. But you knew that anyway. Absolutely. <laughs> so, two little teardrop shapes, like this. One either side for his ears. And you could even cover one eye with his ear if you wanted to. Oh, that's cute. You know, you can you can just personalize all these. 
again we're just going to give them a bit of a Elvis quiff <laughs> on the top sorry to any Elvis fans out there oh no we like Elvis we like a bit of Elvis yes so we're just going to pile it up oops there we go Nick will be pinching me chairs out of the uh, bakery at this rate because mm -hmm. I've not sat on it much tonight he's going to be saying oh you can stand and teach <laughs> so Donna Ryan just seen it is apologizing <laughs> to Laura for confusing her this week and now she wants to confuse last week that is and now wants to confuse her this week oh dear <laughs> what does she we mean? do have customers from all over the world and luckily for Laura she's the one who has to deal <laughs> I have no idea how to work out the shipping or anything myself. And poor Laura has to go and weigh everything to see what it's going to cost to send it abroad. Aww. And Donna Ryan is so patient. She's so She's good. She's fantastic. Isn't there? There's so many good customers out there. Yeah. And they understand that we do a track service. And, oh, it's and it's based on weight. So it is, yeah. you know, they pay a lot of money to have it shipped. It's nothing do. to do with us. We only charge what we get charged. And it's difficult because of the time difference as well. So <laughs> yeah. sometimes I'll get an email from Donna, a reply, and then not see the next one till the next day so it can oh, go on a few goodness. days yeah, yeah. oh i'm so. liking that that looks so cute but donna just um you've got my email address just drop me another email i'll be in tomorrow and then i can get everything sorted for you in one go so we've got that far we're just gonna put some glue in for his eyes so it gets nice and sticky like are that. you cold yeah let me put your coat on no i'm all right you know, it's still cold. I no, I'm, 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 a you warmed up now. I'm a bit no. better now. I'm not. I'm going to put my coat on there in a minute. I'm going to put my coat on there. I can't that one. Look, Maria never takes her clothes off. Maria doesn't even take her clothes off when she's in the sun here. We had a heat wave last year and Maria was wearing a jumper. And you wear it tights. Maria and tights, yes. Carol, are you going home? You put your coat on here. Freaking freeze, I can't cope anymore being polite. <laughs> <Duffled off. laughs> Sorry. Where have you had that duffel from? I'm going to pinch that on the way out. No, it's great, isn't it? It's got a red one as well. John hates them. Oh, I love Ooh, the duffel coats. It takes me back to me. To I me love child. duffel coats. I'll give everyone a, a close up in a minute. <laughs> You I went, do you know when I'm going on a plane on holiday, I wear this because I can just <laughs> stick my hands in the pockets, pull the blood up <laughs> and hide. <laughs> Passport control, don't recognise you. <laughs> Ooh, so all God. I'm doing now is just shaping two little feet, first of all. So they've got to be a little bit flat on the bottom and pointed at the other end. I don't know if you can, can you see them okay? And we're just going to put those feet at the back. And the one thing I forgot to do is give it a little pinch at the back. It's always good because then they don't stick out and you make him look like a muscly sheep. Yeah, that's, that's a good little... idea because I haven't seen that little pinch bit, that, that little pinch bit, have you? That is a good idea. The little feet are going to go that way like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do the same with the front ones. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> if they could see you, Carol, in your oh, coat, I nice and really warm. It is cold. How can you even not put your coat on? Yeah, we've got a t-shirt on. I don't know. I think, do you know what it is? We've been up since six in the morning. Or so, haven't we? Yeah. I think, no, I think what it is, we've been up since six in the morning. We've run around the warehouse like idiots today, all of us. Then I've dashed home. Dashed fed home. Me. Not stop. Fed you, <laughs> yep. <laughs> so this okay. time I've just cut on an angle and I'm just softening that edge. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm going to just bring that first one like that. I'm going to try to see if it's big enough. To oh, just look at that. that. That's <laughs> cute. So. I like that. Sam had a vegan meal with us tonight. I did. It was very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Compliments to the chef. Yeah. Coming again. Yeah. <laughs> also, it's delicious. Yeah. He's been a bit cheeky, this yeah. one. Look. And then paint this edge. Like, I'm laughing oh, at no. Karen Naylor there, you know, because I said I had a bit in my coat. <laughs> she says that's the type of thing celebs do. <laughs> Incognito. Yeah. Oops, we've got uh, disasters oh. going on here, look. That's no use, we've got two together. Oh, 
<laughs> Tell it in the middle of the end of the night. <laughs> Your dad, you dry, a kiss out. We wouldn't have had these types of problems. Yeah, but I couldn't get the right size, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> That's brilliant, that little tool. The dry shake, really, yes, it's oh, lovely. It's, yeah, because you've got one as well, I haven't do, you? I've, got, I've had one yeah. for a long time. Yeah, yeah, I? since it first come out. Um, I remember. And I do, I do love it and I use it a lot. Yeah. But these are three millimetre balls, not the four. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't sure how it would perform. But I will have to try it out and I'll let you know. Yeah, I was going to say. No. It should be okay. Because does it work with the smaller ones? Are they three good? millimetres? Oh. Four and five. Yeah. Oh, that's something I didn't know. So that's really useful because no, yeah. I wouldn't have had them all dropped around the floor. And that sheep, <laughs> and that sheep is there's a runaway eye. <laughs> <laughs> there's more than one, but oh. you can't see that actually. <laughs> yeah. He looks so cute, Sam. He is a bit cute, isn't he? Yeah, he is. So, so we're going to get time to make daffodils. Yes, I, I think we have. Yeah, we? we will. Apparently, we are. Yeah, yeah. She's not then, because she's having it. Listen, there. we like to get we're our singing, money's worth, even though something. we're not paying you. Yeah, just five <laughs> models. Can't believe five it. Money. Yeah, exactly. I know we don't pay the guests, but we like our money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most expensive vegan meal I've ever eaten. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fact you've made me brew up three times. Absolutely. Karen Griffiths, who's watching tonight, it works for her. Oh. She won't believe it. <laughs> I won't get me morning brew in the morning. She's telling me to make me own. <laughs> and there you go. So there's his little tail, like that. Yay, look at him. Should we put him on the cake as yeah, well? Yeah, we're running out of room. Let's get him on the cake as well. <laughs> this is nice, this little Oh, one. those are mini palette knives. They're, they're amazing, aren't they? Yeah, I've got these. I think I've they're the most useful, one of the most useful tools that you can Definitely. have for moving things around. Definitely. So a little bit of glue where you're aiming it for, and then lift him up if yeah. you can. He's going to have his bottom pointing at Carol. Just right. Right. look at that, and wow. you can join the party. There look you at go. that. Have we got that on there, Laura? Mm -hmm. How cute is that? <laughs> it's great, absolutely brilliant. Right, right, go on then. Here's the big egg. <laughs> go on then, as it should. Here's the big egg. We've this been waiting for this. <laughs> this is the one we weren't going to do when we got here, but seeing as uh, you know, go on, you want me to, absolutely. So last year when I did the skills show, I took some Easter eggs. Do you want this one out the way, Laura, I, so you can see? No, it's You're okay. okay. I sat and made daffodils using a calyx cutter. Yeah. Um, Everybody loves this, can I just say? Oh, do they? Absolutely <laughs> loving guys. it. So, so it's just something you can do easily. Well, you've made it look yeah. very easy. You know, it really is. Yes, yeah, so do you know what? I believe it is. It really is. But only because you've made it look <laughs> easy. And it's the steps that you take us through as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same. And that's the way shapes. you've got to cut the legs, everything. Yeah. That's made sense to me. Yeah, that. totally. Yeah. Oh, that's kind yeah. of. But it's, you know, you should enjoy it. Mm. I don't do it. I don't do cakes for people anymore. Yeah. I used to. I do very rarely do them now. Um, only for colleagues or family um, and I really love doing them but I like the teaching of it that's yeah. my passion is the teaching yeah. of it and watching people achieve mm, yeah. and that penny in the air moment and you, you can yeah. see that people go wow that's how yeah. you do it yeah and that's the best feeling in the world well, everybody's loving these, so while you're mucking about with that, is any more cream, <laughs> is any more cream <laughs> eggs going? <laughs> Come on, Maria, is there any in the box? Mark, I apologise now if there's none left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm frozen to death here. <laughs> right, one for Maria, one for me. Laura, do you want no, one? Right, oh, she's been good, um, Maria. Hi. Laura's as good as gold. Maria never puts any weight on, no. and I'm a happy fatty. Who cares? <laughs> you know what I haven't done? I haven't <laughs> given them a little bit of blush, and I'm just going to rectify that very carefully because mm -hmm. it's now on the cake. So before you put them on the cake, guys, mm -hmm. just give you your sheep. <laughs> a little bit oh, of no, Maria's just. <laughs> I nearly dropped a cream egg. <laughs> Have you been caught on the camera eating a cream egg? <laughs> she never dropped it. <laughs> Don't look at your face, Maria, with gold. Oh, this, that was pure gold. I'm going to catch it here now. No, you know you nearly dropped it. <laughs> the thing is, when you watch it live, you're 30 seconds behind. I'll never see it. <laughs> Across oh, the 
Maria. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So all I'm doing now is just making a pad. It doesn't matter what it looks like because we're going to cover it. Mm -hmm. But what you can do is just pull up some little bits so that it looks a bit like grass if you wanted to. You don't have to. Just like this. When I'm first starting out with my students, I tend not to use a great deal of cutters and tools. Just getting your hands in it, making your see how it feels. You, you were doing something earlier with a that fabulous rose you did and you just went round and pinched it mm. and it looked really good didn't it what you yeah. did so it's just getting your hands in it and enjoying it. I've lost my paintbrush again. <laughs> it's been, Maria, it's been a long evening. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> They've all seen you, Maria, and then you drop your egg. And now she's eating it with the thumbs <laughs> up in the background. Now without breaking the thing. Oops. There we go. I think we might be on. There we go. Right. You got that? Oh, well, I don't know whether the audience can see that there. Hang on a sec. There we go. So I'm just doing it just there. like that for now. Super. Okay. Can you see that there, Laura? Yeah. You've moved my menagerie now. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll get it all back together in a minute. <laughs> So I'm going to use some of this lovely paste. Tell me again, which, which make this for? Saracino. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Select Island. See? Select Island <laughs> from <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> the job over is here, really. <laughs> it's called Select Island, i.e. It's actually very nice. So we're just going to mix it together. It's got a little bit so hard now. <laughs> because it's cold in here. <laughs> yeah. It is freezing now. Are you warmed up or are you cold? I'm red hot, me. I'm a woman of a certain age, kid. I've told you this before. <laughs> All my students. Well, so am I. If I'm they're still watching. I think I'm older than you, though, Sam. Oh, I don't think so. Mm. 62, my... when was you born? 62. 68. I see, I'm older than you. You're already a baby. I was born in 62. My students will be sat in the cake deck room and all of a sudden they'll say, can we turn the aircon off? <laughs> no, no aircon. it's just nice. It's tropical in here. <laughs> <laughs> so this just takes a little bit of working in because it's really tough, that paste. Well, I've got a son who's going to be 40 next year. Can you believe it? Oh, you're really old then, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no hope there, kid. I've got a son who's going to be 40 next year and two girls who are going to be 38 and a 35-year-old oh. and probably on my ninth grandchild. <sighs> They're producing for fun at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Are you holding that camera still? <laughs> so that's that's worked in now. Everybody's gone home now. That's it. We're all gone home. Okay. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just again going to roll some long sausages. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to make some really easy daffodils that you can decorate an easter egg with oh fantastic okay like. dead simple keep it easy she's gone again <laughs> you're not eating another cream egg are you <laughs> she keeps nipping up there for something <laughs> she's the Malteser bunnies okay and then we're just going to cut off some lengths see where how long we need a different length I think Susan Tyrrell's just told me she's older than me. Her, da her daughter's older than my son. Really? <laughs> oh. Oh, Paula Brown is getting a new grandchild. She'll be here next Monday. Is Nicola Thompson watching? Do you know? I haven't. Uh, to be Not fair, I don't know. It. There's that many people watching. I don't know where we are with anybody anymore. Nicola so and Alison. Alison Holroyd is uh, some of my past students. When I used to do adult leisure courses, I've got to find these lines again now because mm -hmm. I can't see what I'm doing. We're just gonna. Can you just turn the camera so we can catch you here? Sam, we got it. Hang on a sec. Can't find my glue now. Is that on? So everybody's loving this tutorial. They're looking forward to making daffodils on an egg. Daffodils on an egg. I'm mad at. <laughs> Absolutely bunk as I am. <laughs> yeah. Do it all. Who'd have thunk? Right, Why let's not? get this a bit well, closer. Well, it's about making things quite different and easy, isn't it? It's quite, it's quite effective when you give somebody a, a chocolate Easter egg and it's got daffodils all yeah. over it. It's brilliant. Yeah. Okay. So all I'm doing is just gluing on some 
stems like this. And if you just bend the edges, see how many more I can get on. Let's show you how many flowers we're gonna make. Can we see that? <laughs> Can you turn a little bit more towards the camera? This camera? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Right, yeah. Okay. I lost my globe, I moved it. Breeze. Watch what you're doing with that camera, Maria. Don't be <laughs> faffing it up at us. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> what happened. Did we just get a flash? <laughs> yeah, but don't worry, we're not on screen. Thank you. <laughs> I was supposed to have that coat on. <laughs> It's very tropical in the kitchen today. <laughs> they just ignore the guys with tropical. the coats. Tropical? Tropical. Arctic mother. conditions. <laughs> Even I'm prepared to sack myself having to work in these conditions. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're just going to make some really easy leaves now. So a little bit of corn flour. Are you okay? I'm just going to adjust. Can you adjust? Is that all right? needs to go to the side, oh. like that. Mm. No. <laughs> Towards Sam. Oh, don't point it at me now. <laughs> I'll get the giggles again. <laughs> you do, you're you working well, Sam. You're working well. Yeah. Am yeah. I? Yeah. It's a good job. Thanks. I'm nearly there now. Okay. So all I'm going to do is just use a vegetable knife and just cut out some long... Watch my green board. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I promise. I'll do it careful. It's a very sharp knife. It's probably put big gouges in your board now. I like the colour of your coat, Carol. How can you see? I'll just saw your hands. Good there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just see that you, you, you sleeve. It's very nice, Carol, actually. I must admit. It's very nice. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to go in. Tuck it under and then just paint it up like that. Trouble is, when it's quite dark, you can't see where you've painted. Mm. But there we go. One like that. Oh, they all like the colour of my coat. We're <laughs> going to see it in the full glory because I won't be taking it off when we say goodbye. <laughs> Staying on. I might go bed in it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that went. I'll have to get another one. Oh dear. I'm going to be covered in glue now. So you're talking about your coat. Mm -hmm. And then just flop those over a little bit. Reminding your board. Mm -hmm. It looks good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you like these, Laura? Do you like these, Maria? Yeah. She likes your coat more because you could just do with it because she's only got one jumper on. Last week, Maria had three on. What? Jenkins. Jumpers? Oh, yeah. no. Amazing, isn't she? Couldn't but believe it. <laughs> so, all I'm doing, you can just see. But just seriously, in the heat wave last year, Maria has got jumpers and tights on. Yes. No way. No way. That's just too much. <laughs> too hot. Lindsay McCarthy, Just people don't miss a trick, Carol. Despite everything, don't they? I can't have nothing, can you? Right. See my blue coat? So that's your base, just like that. Okay? Yeah. Oh, that looks Lovely. so good, Sam. Now, yeah. all you're going to do... so good. I just move this. I'll move the sharp knife away from Carol's board. Okay. <laughs> Do you need to soften that lemon, though? Is it okay? No, it's okay. It's lovely, right. actually. It's, it's worked really well. Um... I just want a little bit of corn flour. Nikki Rimmer Rollers, those nice nails, Carol. <laughs> You've got, look, we were talking about that before. Yeah. Because I'm quite jealous of your nails. The nails you wear, yeah. Because <laughs> I don't have nails and I don't wear jewellery because I'm in the bakery all day at work, so. It's great there. Is Nikki coming on our classes at this Saturday? I don't know which day it is. So all you're going to do is roll out your yes. yellow. And then just use a calyx cutter. I know there's fabulous moulds out there, and I'm not knocking them because they are fab. But for my students just learning, this is a really easy way. It's not, we don't do anything hard. Easy way of making daffodils. 
Now when I'm rolling out, I have a rule and I teach it to the students, you toes forward and back, forward and back and a quarter turn every time. Like that, and this stops it sticking. And once the students have learned that, it really helps, you know. <laughs> okay, so we're just going I am to no good at rolling me. I can never get it right. Shapes. So I've got I've left it a little bit thick and it's a little bit raggy around the edges, but it doesn't really matter. If you want perfect flowers, don't come to me. Mm -hmm. I just like them to be a little bit thicker so that they will stand. Okay. How many have I got? Is it four? Mm -hmm. So four. It's a good way to make daffodils though, this way, isn't it? It's just Brilliant. Easy. And so simple when you, when you were yeah. saying you were going to make them, you've got, okay, let's cut them. I'm going, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> When I first started, Carol, was 34 years ago. And we didn't have the luxury of all these cutters. Mm. We used to cut our own. She was just saying, Sam, when I arrived before, she goes, will you stop showing everybody all these things? <laughs> I, you're going to put me out of business. Oh, I'm showing know. everybody how to do them the proper the way. The old-fashioned way. Yeah. Yeah. And you're bringing out moulds and everything else, showing everybody. <laughs> I did. It's great. Moulds are brill, especially some of the ones you can get now. They're so detailed. But yeah. there's something throwing it all over the place at you today. There's something really satisfying about being able to make something, being mm. able to see what you're doing. So just watch if you've got a seam on your tools, just roll it to the side. I don't think there's any just, seams on them, they're not too, No, they're not too no. bad at all, these. Yeah. Sometimes some of the others you can get and they're really nasty. Yeah. So just go around those edges, just thin the edges. That's those cheap ones. Those cheap ones, we'll not mention Spend them. a little bit more, Yeah. get a quality yeah. product. I'm just going to go around the edges. I mean, the other tool you can use is your balling tool. Depends which one you want. I tend to get icing stuck on them. Mm -hmm. So just go around those edges. My rule is half of it on the board, half of it on the flower. So mm -hmm. you get a nice thin edge. So like that. Do more. <laughs> it keeps moving. <laughs> Sorry. It's been a long day. There we are. So just like that. Just go around each one. Try not to miss any. I have a habit of missing one petal off. And you don't notice till you've got it on on the <laughs> cake or your egg. I want to see all these Carol on Facebook later. Yeah, when everybody's decorating eggs. Yeah. I'm just wondering what's happened to my comments. My comments have gone. Have you got comments on yours? You've been banned off your own Facebook yeah, no. page. No. <laughs> have you got comments? No. I can't see my audience either, can you? No. Are they all gone? Yeah, no, no, we're still alive. Still alive. Yeah, no, we're still alive. Just put it on. Going all the middles. Yeah, you carry on, don't worry. No problem, oh. And then we're just going to glue them on. So we're going to just stick them on as we go. I closed the app and relaunched it and it's come back on. Oh, have you? Right, okay, I'll do the same one. Like this. Stick your glue on. Make sure you're not over gluing them. If you over glue them, they'll just slide off. Uh -huh. As that one is, just to prove a point. Maybe. Sorry, you oh, shoved that camera oh, in, Sam. <laughs> Jumper's in the way. <laughs> She's so good, you know. She has such a difficult job. Anybody who doesn't know Maria and it's the first time watching, She's ace. Maria has to film. So she does all the filming, and believe it or not, she cuts everything down and gets everything that you've watched tonight into a one minute video. Mm -hmm. I don't know how she does it. We're amazed, aren't yeah. we? But in fairness, she puts everything together. She works all week putting videos together so that you can watch them quickly. <laughs> so yes, in the live, you know, she has to get in the way and up oh, close and personal. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it's all for your benefit. Just get this orange now. And everybody loves her anyhow. They love seeing her. She's brilliant. <laughs> Great wave, Maria. Yeah. Even when she was eating a cream egg earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now 
we're just going to mix a little bit of orange and you can see probably where I'm going with this now. Really quick, easy to do. And you could make your little lambs and your sheep, your lambs and your sheep, you know what I mean? Your yeah. lambs and your, and your <laughs> what was it we made? We lambs made, and your, your chick. We made a chick, we made we a did. rabbit. We made so many. Um, <laughs> there. And you'll be able to just bob them around the board, which is what I did yeah. when I did it at the skills show, but the army kept eating them. The army cadets. Yeah, so we've got one, they're... two, three, that four, looks so good. five. So simple though. Yeah. So simple. Uh, one, two, three. Can four. I read your comments off the phone? Because mm -hmm. mine's yeah. just not having it. Okay. And then we're just going to make five cones. They're all watching. They absolutely love it. <laughs> told you you didn't Wonderful believe it, did you? tutorial today Danny Wheeler they're concentrating Carol um, and I, I can never say that name Dan's Dina's Dina's Shiroff from America she's from America isn't she so. yeah can't stop watching Angela Vlag we are watching intently <laughs> still glued to the phone watching can't take my eyes off which is great loving the daffodils it says that Elaine Hollywell Di Wheeler says, really enjoy tonight, but I always do. Everything is fab and Sam makes it. Oh, oh thank you. That's, nice that's lovely. That. That's lovely. Yeah. I did, my friends, I don't know if Kelly's watching, Kelly and her husband got married uh, this time last year and I did their wedding cake. I actually posted it on the show. I did Crumbs see it, yes. It was very nice. And it was um, daffodil cake and it was similar to the one that the lady who does the moulds does. Uh, yeah. And it was, you know, it was really enjoyed making it for her now did you say Catherine got... etches yes yes she's watching oh hello darling so just go round now <laughs> there's always someone who knows how many <laughs> daffodils but how many pestles okay. a daffodil got oh Give it's, a cartoon daffodil. Yeah. it's a cartoon daffodil yeah it's a cartoon daffodil Daffodils have six petals, but we don't care. Thank ours have you. Got, ours have got a few, but thanks for letting us know. <laughs> <laughs> ours have got lots, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's the the, uh, the fact that they're going to be children that would. Ours be are a to... double daffodil. You've seen those those double ones, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Got to add, th these are like the ones I've got in my garden. Yeah. There we go. So just go round it with your paintbrush, or if you've got um, I don't know if you've got one, Carol. A. Uh, I'm not a veining tool. Bulbous cone tool's good for this. Oh yes, I've got one. Is so. it? Did I not get it out? Is that not? Is that bulb? Is that not the bulbous cone tool? No, no. no. It's all right. We'll manage. We'll manage. You can do it with a paintbrush. It's fine. So do it with a paintbrush around the edge. Okay, you can do it with a cocktail stick once you get brave. Get in there like that, and then the secret is. To go round it and thin those edges by just touching. It's looking good, isn't it? So it's all you good. expert gardeners out there will know this looks like a cartoon daffodil, <laughs> which is exactly what it's supposed to look like. There we go. And in a minute, I'm going to cut the backs off so they're not so long and they won't fall off. And we just go. How are we doing for time? Oh, you got one minute. Oh, one minute. no pressure, no pressure. <laughs> Like. I'm just. Uh, I thought it was only here for half an hour. <laughs> do you know later. you're like everybody else? Everyone comes in here and goes, "What am I going to do for two hours?" Two hours. <laughs> <laughs> and then next minute, two hours is gone. Hang on, hang on. Hear me there. Okay, bit of glue. Put the glue on already. Okay, so we just go in and put your trouble bits on like this, and hope they don't fall off. Because you've only got one minute left to do it. <laughs> you've got Carol Butler saying, Doreen, I can't wait to see what next figure will be made with a daffodil. So there, they're expecting a few more figures next time. Oh that. my days! <laughs> <laughs> Can I just stick that one on go there? On, Carol, and then we're done. On. we're done. We're done. There we're done. go. We're done. Woohoo! Woohoo! How's that so going? So, what do we think, everybody? Fantastic. Give them a thumbs up, likes. What do we it's think? Beautiful, that. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. No pressure. No pressure. Let me, let me bring this over here. Yeah. So sorry guys, I've got to wear my daffodil. My, my daffodil. <laughs> <laughs> my daffodil. 
Go you better be duffer coat. Got to wear me duffer coat because I'm freezing. It's so cold in here. So um, it's a proper duffel coat, by the way. I know somebody asked, and just Google duffel coats. I've got one in bright red, one in this pale blue, and John hates them. <laughs> but I'm love going them. to have one as well. Yes, and when I get on the aeroplane, I'm like this. So when I go on holiday, he insists, go mad, I'm like that. <laughs> I get on my aeroplane, and I'm like that, and I've got my hands in, or I'm like that, and I don't look at anybody. <laughs> She's a celeb, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> I go to sleep usually because I work all night till I get to the airport. Right. So, what do we think of this? Which camera are we on? This one. Can you hold that up as well? So How amazing yeah. and easy. How amazing and easy is this? So, please put a big thumbs up for Samantha Copeland from Reese, Reese Heath, Heath College. College. <laughs> Over there in Nantwich. Okay. She's a great lady. I've known her for a couple of years. See her at the cake shows. And she's always promoting the college as well. I've asked her to come in. It's took me a long time to get her here. But I think she's had a great night. So well done. <laughs> well, well done. So as per usual, if there's anything you want to buy tonight, I showed you some new moulds and things like that. They're on the wish list. So just pop over to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Didn't hear Laura shout it out too much tonight. Did you shout it out at all, Laura? I did. Too busy engrossed in the lambs, aren't you? <laughs> too busy so, eating the green eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so pop over to our website sugarcrumbs.co.uk, stroll along to the right hand side to Facebook Lives, drop down the menu to this month's Facebook Live, find Samantha Copeland, everything that she's used tonight is in the wish list. And then next week we are doing models again. Now we've got one of you guys <laughs> and she may well be watching and be very shy. We have a lovely lady who is a customer, a follower. She's on the group. She's called mm -hmm. Doreen Griffin and she makes some fabulous little models. Basically she's learned everything from watching lives and tutors and everything coming in. And like Sam has said, she's put her own twist on them. So she's been making them, all of you love them. And I've asked Doreen to come in. I think it was Maria, was it you who wanted to come in? Who was it who wanted to come in? Who was it who spotted her? Yes. I'm sure it was Maria who I spotted her. <laughs> and I spotted her as well. Maria, Maria goes there scouting, looking for people. Carol, Carol, <laughs> we need to get them in. So, <laughs> so, so we have got Doreen Griffin in. She's here next week. Do make sure that you're here. It's very nerve wracking for people. And she is coming over from, I think, over from the Liverpool way, from the Wirral. Her daughter's going to bring her over. So make sure you're here at eight o'clock. And we'll see you then. Thank you for joining us. Bye. So we're going to say goodbye from all of us. Bye, Maria. Bye, Laura. Bye, Bye. Bye everyone. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't press the button. So I forgot. Right, don't forget, tomorrow, watch your emails coming out because John will be sending out emails on how you can win these fabulous uh, brushes. These are from Global Sugar Artist Network. We sell them. We are the UK distributor. They are amazing, okay? So if you're looking for fine detail, you didn't use them tonight, did you? I didn't, didn't you? No. <laughs> so if you're looking for fine detail brushes, which camera should we go on, Laura? Whichever you want. So if you're looking for fine detail brushes, you can see how tiny these are. So these are great for putting little dots on your flowers, your eyes, for doing little eyelashes, for doing your eyeliner, not your eyeliner, on your <laughs> models. Maybe you can do your own eyeliner with it, I don't know. But anything that needs fine detail, these are here. So John, this is a giveaway from Global... Um, Global Sugar Artist Network, um, and John will send out the competition and see who's going to win this set. Great, because it's well worth buying. And if you don't want to win a set because you want them urgently, they're on the website and they're in the wish list. So we'll see you on Monday. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> no problem. Well Bye. Bye.